What's up, you ugly motherfuckers? It's David Fabre again. Or Leon, or Mr. Rock 7, or Islam Sheet, or whatever the hell they call me right now. I bet they don't call me much. I get a lot of improper nouns used to describe me like you, or dude, or whatever. And I had developed a plan on how to end the dem democratic state. And to end a democratic state, I propose that we should use voting to lobby against areas with the highest voting to non-voting ratio. How do we lobby against these areas where there's a really high ratio of people who vote to people who don't vote? Well, we'll use what and progressivists think is a good idea. We'll ask them to raise their tax. We'll go, all right, let's raise those taxes from you having to spend 20% of your income on feds to 25%, and then 30%, then 35%, and it keeps on going and going and going until these rich white neighborhoods full of those progressivists realize holy crap I got 90% like I wanted <laughs> and these guys get like one million dollars a year now they get one hundred thousand dollars per year so on that note they'll realize hey what we advocated is pretty fucking stupid. Here's the progressivist plan. To end the economic depression or the Great Recession that we have now, we use what we use to get rid of the Great Depression. We'll keep the fiscal really, really tight. Just really, really tight. We'll create these really harsh valuations, which you know isn't going to work. Because democracy, as I said, is fiscal socialism. That's why we get into all these elections, trying to make valuations on which do we need to get rid of, which don't we need to get rid of. All in the free market, a free market capitalist society will probably have more calculations for this polycentrically. But that's me getting on an important end. So they keep the fiscal really tight and they raise everyone's taxes. Maybe in 20 years, the Great Depression will end. Or the Great Recession that we have now. The Great Depression ended in the end of World War II. So the Great Depression, Depression lasted from 1929 to 1945, I believe. Wherever World War II ended. And... That was the method they used, and it lasted over a decade, so it probably wasn't the best means. And you think, well, hey, but then what do you advocate? Well, contrary to what history says, there was another Great Depression in 1921, which lasted from 1921 to 1922, and it was even bigger, and it was after World War I, where World War I really fucked up the economy. And there's no doubting this because back then people, history did say that there was an economic problem after war. People would have a hard time finding jobs, but they wouldn't call it a Great Depression for obvious reasons. Since that really doesn't go for plans that they advocate, the United States. So what they did to end the Great depression of that time was the exact opposite. They kept the fiscal. They didn't worry about the fiscal because, well, all keeping the fiscal tight means is absurd valuations and things of that nature. So what they did worry about was lowering taxes. Keeping the taxes low. What this would do is this would empower liquidations and also it would empower people to 
invest more. Investments contrary to Keynesian economics is what improves the economy, not spending or subsidizations. So savings investments, not spending and subsidizations. And that's very simplified, but hey, I'm trying to be simple for you guys. Even though you probably wouldn't understand that too, because most of the people who watch this video aren't into politics. And even the ones that do are idiots. <laughs> Unless I don't know them. If I don't know them, they're probably smart. If I do know them, they're probably idiots. Yeah, I'm such a dick. And we have a GDP spending of 43 percent, 43 per point something percent. So it's not as bad as most European states where it's in the mid or high 40s, maybe in 50s. But Japan already beat us on a lower GDP spending rate of 39 percent. So I can understand where progressivists are going over there, but if we raise it, that's not going to be good. Now, let's... I really got off topic, but all the tangents I made were probably one of the more superior democratic state arguments I've heard. Anti-democratic state arguments. So we lobby against these places and make them pay a lot of taxes so what will happen is that they'll eventually have to realize, they'll have to realize that this isn't working. What they think is good, this fantasy structure, isn't functional. They'll go, oh crap, spending, having us lose all this money is really doing the opposite of what we thought. I used to have one million dollars and now I have one hundred thousand dollars. I thought that was a good thing. But I'm not really making much investments with all this money. Not really helping my company out as much as I could. Um, I only have three times the amount of money the average person has, which is like $32,000 per year. Not very impressive, but I shouldn't complain because I really don't have much money myself kid and but at hindsight some people might say we already have 40 something presidents who's Barack Obama is the 40 what president www.wikipedia.com I'll Wikipedia that shit cause Wikipedia wouldn't lie on something that trivial list of presidents US okay let's see ooh 44 president wait is that the number yeah so he's it's already been that many presidents and people still don't realize that democracy doesn't work. What's going to happen is if I say that, they'll go, Oh, wait, that's just representative democracy. That doesn't work. Or uh, constitutional republic. <laughs> and some people might say, yeah, we need a direct democracy. That's what we really need. And I think a direct democracy will probably be worse in some ways and better in others, but only ever so slightly. And you really don't want that change in suckiness from being sucky in one way to sucky another way. That's not what you want. You want an improvement, a legitimate improvement. Although, yeah, gotta play with the hands you're dealt with. So this is my 10 minute video. 
I don't know if my plan is my plan's a joke really. But it'd be funny if it actually works. Like people will actually be enlightened and realize that what they think would have worked doesn't work at all. But hey. I don't give a crap. So at that point people realize I'm gonna stop voting and yada yada yada. <laughs>